Alrighty guys, welcome to another review of non-alcoholic beer from tiplezero.com. Today I'm going to be looking at the Upside Dawn Golden Ale from Athletic Brewing Co. They are a non-alcoholic brewery based out in Stanford, Connecticut in the States. And they have kind of really developed this no compromise approach to creating non-alcoholic beer. We'll cover the taste profile as well as the nutritional information, where to buy it, who it's for, and a little bit more along the way. So let's hop straight into it and check out the Upside Dawn Golden Ale from Athletic. Okay, so looking for it in a store, this is the can you need to be looking for. So it is the Upside Dawn Golden Ale, really nice looking can. Got some little bit of nutritional info, but overall, nice bright yellow color, really, really hard to miss. Now for me, this is one which has a really great range of flavors. It's got a really hoppy flavor to it, and it's got some nice tropical and fruity notes to it as well. So you are going to find that it's got some nice multi-base, kind of honey-based sweetness as well, and some really enjoyable bitterness to finish it off too. So for me, it really does give you that Vienna malt caramel malt flavor and it's kind of really enjoyable to have after a run i mean for me i got home from a run the other day and just literally slammed one of these down uh, just as soon as i got in the door so i can recommend it has a great function for that from a flavor profile i think this would suit quite a range of drinkers really because you've got some really good hoppy notes in there so it's fruity it's tropical based and it's really nice and light and fresh and then you've also got some really nice maltiness undertones. So you've got a, it's made with a Vienna malt. So you will get some nice caramel hints through it and some kind of honey-based sweetness too. And then you finish off with some nice mild bitterness and it's not too overpowering. So overall, you've probably gathered, it's got quite a really good balance to it. So it's a great, nice balance and is one that you'll actually uh, enjoy if you come into non out beer and you're just looking to try something and kind of get your feet uh, you know, in the pool, so to say. So. It's one I would really recommend if you're looking to just get into non out beer because that taste profile is actually quite similar to a traditional golden ale, but also slanted towards that IPA flavor as well due to the fruity and floral and uh, hoppy notes in there as well. So for me, the taste of the athletic golden ale is really, really great from a refreshing perspective. And I did drink it the other day as soon as I got in the door from a run. Uh, it said athletic. I feel like I'm an athlete if I go for a run, so why not get involved with it? So I would recommend giving it a go, and from a taste profile, it gets a big double thumbs up from me. It's one which I would recommend given the fruitiness and the balance of an IPA if you are an IPA drinker. Now, from a nutrition perspective, each can has around 11 and a half grams of carbohydrate, only five grams of sugar, and 1.1 grams of protein. And each can comes in at around 50 calories per can, which is crazy. So 50 calories a can, less than five grams of sugar per can. It's really quite a healthy alternative and one which so many people will look to enjoy given the fact that it is low sugar, low calories, and above all, low or no alcohol. Okay, so where to buy it? So if you are looking to pick this up in the States, I will leave some links below to the retailers like Athletic themselves or Amazon, who also sell this through the States as well. And if you're looking to pick it up in Australia, you've got a really, really wide range of opportunities to pick it up. So anywhere from Woolies in your weekly shop, all the way through to Craft Zero, Brunswick Aces, as well as Sands Drinks and other retailers as well. Now, Dan Murphy's is another one you can pick it up from and they have it cold in some select stores. So I'd recommend looking for it if you're on your way somewhere and you can just pick it up and add it to your drink list for the afternoon. Now, that means it's super accessible, super easy to pick up and you are off to the races if you want to take it to the races. Who is this beer for? Now, for me, I really, really think this is a beer for IPA drinkers. I was talking, actually talking about it today. If you are not going to enjoy a hoppy beer, you don't like the fruitiness, you don't like the, I guess, bitter notes in a beer, this one might not be for you. But to be honest, I really enjoy those sorts of flavors and think that this is a really great option for IPA drinkers or someone who actually enjoys a tropical flavored beer like a Pacific Ale or something similar to to that. Now, I would say that if you are looking to get the most out of this one, it does amazingly in a glass. Like most of the non out beers need to be put into a glass to actually get the most out of them. And by all means, this one does well in a can, but it just gets dialed to 11 in a glass. So for me, IPA drinkers, those who really enjoy a tropical fruity notes, and definitely get it in a glass because you will love it when it's there. Okay, so summing up the athletic Upside Dawn Golden 
ale. I think this is going to suit so many drinkers. It's going to suit anyone who loves a pale ale because of the bitterness at the end. It's going to suit IPA drinkers, obviously, because it's got those fresh, fruity notes as well as people who are just looking to try something non-alcoholic and not wanting to stray too far from a normal beer that they're used to drinking. Now, I think the tropical notes and the fruity notes may mean that it's not for traditional lager drinkers, um, but I would say give it a go just to see if it is something which you're actually interested in because I know that the non-alcoholic beers do taste largely the same as traditional alcoholic ones, but there is that ever, ever growing hope that it can convert someone who's a traditional lager drinker to an IPA or a golden ale drinker. So give it a go. I think it's definitely one to try and I've been drinking it for the last year or so um, and I'll continue to drink it all summer long just given the depth of flavor and the way it just really is a great thirst quenching beer. Again, this is what you're looking for when you're trying to grab it in store. And I think that about sums it up. Check everything out over at tipplezero.com. Links in the description below to try out as many different beers as you can. And I've also got a whole bunch of wines and spirits in there as well. So www.tipplezero.com has all the information you need. Links in the description below, and I'll see you on the next one.